Professor Ochimba just said it was built and fully furnished by Governor Infonyo Corps for the training of non-commissioned officers of the Corps and commended the management for its commitment towards delivering on its core mandate of reducing carnages on the nation's road. He however called the Nigerians to harness the inherent benefits in the country to promote sustainable socio-economic growth and development. The Vice President cautioned those who are agitating for the breakup of the country, pointing out that Nigeria remains better as one united country. And this is as it should be. The ultimate beneficiaries are the good people of Delta State and of course the country at large. I must encourage all levels of government to emulate what Delta State has done. Governor Koa said a well-trained road safety marshal would impart positively on road safety standards and safe driving practices in the state and the country. Dr. Koa disclosed that the project, which housed administrative block, recreational center, operational, residential structures, clinic, among other state-of-the-art facilities, was fully executed within a period of 18 months. Indeed, we thank the federal authorities for giving us this opportunity to partner with them. Our administration will continue to avail itself of any opportunity to improve road and fiscal infrastructure. Co-Marshal and Chief Executive Officer of FRSC Dr. Boboye Oyeyemi commended Delta State Government for building and handing over of the training school to the Corps. On their part, they will be of our kingdom Dr. Imalo Lefezamo II, Eka North East Local Government Chairman Barrister Victor Ebonka, member representing Eka North East constituency in the State House of Assembly, Honorable Anthony Eleko Kuri, said the school would boost the social economic activities of the area. And when a pressure, uh, it will lead to a reduction of college, first within the environment in the local government and Nigeria at large. We have FRSC training school in our place. We are grateful that this is happening in our time. It brings a lot of benefit to us and it puts our community on the international map. Governor Kowa conducted Professor Yemi Oshimbajo, others on a guided tour around the facilities. From Oa Lero, Austin Azu reporting.